Hey guys, Andy Harvey here in Pflugerville at Harvey Guitars, otherwise known as my garage. Um, we have a uh, interesting tailor here. Uh, this is a 410. It's from the early to mid 90s. Um, it uh, is all solid woods like every other 410 is. Uh, but this is a really interesting and early model. Uh, it has no serial number. So, um, strangely enough, it had one at one time, uh, but the uh, sticker was taken off at some point, uh, probably for a neck reset. And uh, the remnants of the sticker are there, but there's no serial number that has been um, stamped into the heel block, which is normally what Taylor does. So I don't know if this is a prototype that didn't have a serial number um, back then or, or what, but uh, it had a sticker at one point, but I've contacted Taylor and talked to them and they said there's no way to identify it completely um, as, um, as to exactly what year number it is, but it's a 410E. Um, it has a uh, the old style Taylor pinless bridge, which was used on the early 410s uh, from 1991 on to the late 90s. Um, it's all satin finish, uh, has a top that's uh, spruce, been aged really nicely over the years. It's turned a pretty dark yellow. Um, mahogany back and sides um, in pretty good shape. Um, some uh, pitting and scratches on the body. It's not a perfect guitar, definitely a player. Um, there is a small, looks like it, maybe a case bite here um, on the lower bout um, that's pictured on the reverb site for this. Uh, the uh, crack that's listed in the ad is right here. And it's, uh, looks to be about, uh, little, maybe a little less than six inches long right here. Uh, it's not pleated or anything, but it's on the side here. Uh, you can't feel it underneath. It's just barely in the top here. Um, and uh, there's a little crack in the binding here. But everything's structural. Um, you know, certainly a, a nice playing guitar. Um, it has the uh, Fishman Prefix Electronics here. Uh, so the old style uh, undersettle pickup. And uh, let's play it for just a minute so you can see kind of how it sounds. It's opened up pretty nicely, plays good and sounds good. Yeah, it plays nice. Um, when I got it, it was uh, the strings that had been on it looked like they'd been on it for 15 years. It was the, there was no life left in the strings, and they were super tarnished. This has a fresh set of elixirs on it, and I uh, polished up the fretboard a little bit, uh, cleaned up the frets. Um, frets have a lot of life left in them. You know, a little bit of fret wear here and there, um, and there's a little a little chip. I don't know if you can kind of see it, maybe where the light is. A little chip in the headstock there. Um, there's the inlaid Taylor logo there. Um, it's got the uh, the Grover tuners, which um, Taylor used in the 90s uh, on most of their guitars. This was before they were manufacturing their own tuners. And uh, it comes with the original uh, hard shell case. It's not the pink poodle lining, it's the black lining, uh, but it's still um, one of the older cases that's made in the USA in the El Cajon factory. Uh, same thing with this guitar, US made um, back in the 90s during the golden era of Taylor. Uh, pickup system has been tested, it works fine. Fresh nine volt battery in there. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to send me a message. Uh, thanks for checking us out.